Why it's important to treat ADHD in adulthood. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, let me tell you why. So we are going to talk about three main aspects in this video. Number one, we are going to explore how you can know you have ADHD as an adult. I'm gonna tell you very specifically how you can know that. Number two, I'm gonna tell you how you can heal ADHD all naturally. You can literally get rid of all of the symptoms and improve your focus, your organization, your productivity without needing to rely on medication. And number three, I'm going to dispel the myth of adult onset ADHD. That's not a thing, but I will tell you why you may not have known that you had ADHD until adulthood and why you are struggling with symptoms more now that you are an adult than maybe you have when you were a child. Okay, so then stay with me till the end because I'm going to give you a bonus brain tip that you can use right away today to help yourself with your adult ADHD. Okay, so let's dig in. How can you know if you have adult ADHD? It's simple. You can have a QEEG brain map performed so that you can see how your brain is performing and if indeed it is using the brain pattern for ADHD. So let me tell you what that looks like. The brain pattern for ADHD is one of excessive slow brain processing speed, and that's called delta and theta. And what that means is your brain is literally using the electrical energy of slowness. So for example, slow speed theta is at five cycles per second five cycles of electrical energy moving through your brain, like this, very slow. For perfect processing speed, your brain needs to go between 12 and 15 hertz. It's more like this. That's the hum or the zone when you're focused, you're not distracted, you're able to produce your best work, you're able to stay organized, all of that. So to be able to know if you have ADHD, when you have your QEG brain map performed, you can see it with your own eyes. It looks like red on your brain map, too much slow brain processing speed. So then to talk about the second thing we're gonna talk about today is how can you heal that brain pattern once you see it with your own eyes? Neurofeedback brain training can literally take the brain pattern that you see on your QEG brain map, and that's the one that's creating your issues because slow processing speed means you're not able to think in real time, it's running slow, you're not able to process sensory information in real time, you're not able to self-regulate or process emotions in real time, it's all running too slow. So when we speed the brain up just enough to perfect processing speed, by reducing the amount of theta production in your brain, then voila, your brain is able to process in real time. You're able to stay focused. You're no longer distracted as the brain starts to fall asleep. You're able to crank out your work. You're able to enjoy your family time. You're able to remember what you're supposed to be doing in your routines. You're able to tackle your finances, which you might not have been able to do uh, before with your old brain pattern because it was just too difficult to stay focused on a daunting task. Okay, so moving through to adult onset ADHD, I thought I had that. That's not a thing. ADHD is in fact, by definition, a neurodevelopmental disorder. In fact, it's the most common neurodevelopmental disorder. And what that means is it occurs early in development. So I call it an organic brain pattern. People are born with the brain pattern that has too much slowing that creates the symptoms of ADHD. And it primarily happens up here in the frontal lobe and it affects attention, executive function, which is planning and organization, and impulse control and judgment. Although there are multiple types of ADHD that can encompass many different areas of the brain, but frontal's kind of the classic ADHD. So that brain pattern's been there since you were born if you actually have the brain pattern for ADHD. And many adults do, and they don't really know about it because they've compensated 
their whole life. So when people come in to see us at Lead Brain and Spine, one of the first things I'll ask people, if I see the ADHD pattern and they haven't mentioned it to me, because many times they're there for anxiety, which is a comorbid pattern that will develop over your lifetime if you keep using your ADHD pattern. But people, I'll ask them, I'll say, did you have learning challenges as a child in school? And they'll say, yeah, yes I did. How did you know? Because the ADHD pattern is there. So you were likely born with that pattern, but you may have been able to compensate over your lifetime. But also as you age, there's hormonal changes. Um, you have to use your brain in more and more difficult ways as you move into the workplace and as you go through college, as you get a new, more demanding job, as you have more children. So it may become more evident as some of these environmental stressors are happening to you and as your body and your brain is changing with aging it be, it becomes more apparent for many people and that's why they think they have adult onset ADHD okay so which leads me to your bonus brain tip now thinking about compensating and routines if you're not rushing out to get your brain map, which I suggest that you do, um, and not a shameless plug for Lee Brain and Spine, but we are able to do QEEG brain maps from afar. We're able to do them using an online platform. So we can do your brain map and I can see your baseline brain performance pattern uh, from far away. So if you wanna have that brain map done, it's, can, it's easier than ever. But if you don't rush out and get your brain mapped, what you can do is adjust your daily routine so that you're able to tackle the most difficult tasks early on in the day when you're fresh and when you're less stressed out because fatigue and stress will impact an ADHD brain pattern more than it impacts the optimal brain pattern. And then build into your routine time for rest. So the people who are most successful growing up and using an ADHD pattern into adulthood are those that have created a lifestyle that allows just that. Time on for focus, but not too long, and then time out for recovery. So that's your brain tip for today. Try to build that into your lifestyle. I know so many people say, I can't do that. You can, you can do anything you want. Usually it may take some time and it may take some out of the box thinking, but I'm sure you can make it happen if you want to. But now here comes the shameless plug. If you would like help with your ADHD in adulthood, you can check out my website at drtrishlee.com because there I offer a personal neuro training and neuro coaching program, and it's a really awesome start. And then at leebrainandspine.com, you can also see about our full-fledged neurofeedback programs. If you're ready to take care of this ADHD pattern, heal it. Uh, science shows you can heal the ADHD pattern and you can prevent regression at all ages. So if you're ready for that, check out those services. Okay, so remember, control your brain or it'll control you.